application 2020 for the Viasite Dish Facility location 7 Ridge Street, R1 Low Density Residential Zoning District, applicant Viasat care of selective site consultants. Do I have a motion? No, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Process 5 0. I saved you a trip to the microphone. Uh, yes, I am. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, 146 2020. Consider application 2009 for the Viasat Dish Facility site plan contingent upon addressing comments from the Township Engineer, location 7 Ridge Street, R1 Low Density, low density Residential Zoning District, applicant Viasat CEO Selective Site Consultants. The plan will see Planning Commission on approval on June 18, 2020. Do a motion? Do a second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 5 0. 147 2020. Consider the full release of financial security posted for the installation of private improvements for South Point Town Center Park Place Office Building, a total reduction of $499,121.70 as recommended by the Township Engineer. This is the Ronarth uh, office building at uh, South Point, and uh, this is the release for all of the remaining bonding. Uh, they put in all of their they put in all of their landscaping, lighting, everything that they were supposed to. We checked it out. Uh, we did a field visit uh, on August 19th, and uh, they provided the Asbel plan. So we're recommending uh, release of the full line of bond. I don't know if they have a tenant that have finished building. Do I have a motion? Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 5-0. 148 2020. Consider the first release of financial security posted for the installation of private and public improvements for McConnell Trails Phases 2A from 369. $1,171 to $256,174, a total reduction of $112,997 as recommended by the Township Engineer. So uh, this work is all complete. Uh, the, it's a little bit odd in that the developer has requested, has requested the work uh, because he's going to flip this bond and the money to move over to Phase 2B, which you just approved tonight. So he's asking for this release tonight. They have not completed the final paving yet. It's scheduled to be done this week. Uh, my recommendation would be if the board uh, sees it fit to approve this reduction. Staff wouldn't release the letter until the work is complete. Uh, again, we anticipate that work to take place. They're mobilized up there and they're ready to do the paving right now. So. I just wanted it to be clear. Any thought we would have this done, we did it in anticipation of this meeting. So uh, I have no problem. Liz and I can control this uh, until this work is done. If the board so please to approve this tonight. And you're confident that you'll keep track of when that work is done to make sure. Right. My concern is that the money would be released before the work is done because of a miscommunication. No, it, it wouldn't be released, and he wants to start on phase two. We would. Phase 2B, we would not start on that until this is completely anyway. Okay. And then they got a couple of block inlets over here. Right by the bottom. Okay. That's, that's just filled up like a lake. It's below. Okay. Um, so, do you have a... Just, do we have want... a motion? Um, just make sure it's pending the finish of the paving. And coordination with the end. Yeah, it needs to be the reduction contingent upon completion of payment. Yeah. Contingent. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Passes 5 0. So just as long as that's not released until the paving's done. 149 2020 consider the fourth release of financial security posted for the installation of public improvements for traditions of america phase one two million two hundred seventy three thousand three hundred fifteen dollars and fifty six cents to one million four hundred thirty three thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars and fifty six cents a total reduction of 
$840,136 as recommended by the Township Engineer. Now, this is a this is a big reduction, but there's a lot of work that's taking place over there. Uh, and we're, we've reviewed this and uh, recommend its reduction. Uh, typically, we don't take these reductions and we're not doing anything special with this, but we wouldn't take this under 15% uh, until of the total until such time as the maintenance bond is in place and a lot of other things are done. So they're not there yet. I just mentioned that. Uh, everybody, when you see big numbers, you want to make sure that there's enough to get the job done. And there is in this case. Do I have a motion? No. What about them not having sewage over there? Uh, the sewage issue is, uh, so So the municipal authority, we always work with the municipal authority, and they won't sign off on something until such time as there's uh, sewage approved for, for the development in terms of the lines are in, installed, easements are in place, everything's done soup to nuts. They bonded the sewers with the municipal authority, and what the municipal authority agreed was, and we all came to, conclusion was that they would install holding tanks temporarily until such time as the main source was complete. And that's all on them. They signed the holding tank agreement. The public stores are being constructed right now. It's just there's, there's a delay due to COVID, a whole bunch of things, a bunch of things that have delayed construction. Now they're going to do a bunch of bad rock, I understand, and slow them down. So there's no issue with the stores. They're going to, they're going to be put in place. Uh, it's just the holding tanks for their temporarily. Not a question on that. Since we need to get to discuss any of that, are the tanks going to be removed when they're done? They would be, yes. Yes. That's not a permanent solution. You're going to have a tank for every house? No. The, the model homes. How many models are there? Six? Seven. 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 I'm going to seven houses built over there. Consider application for payment one and final for the work completed for the contract C 2020 pavement maintenance program to Russell Standard in the amount of $73,171.40 as recommended by the township engineer. This is the uh, this is the seal coating project that uses the uh, uh, fiber mat seal coating and the fog seal. Uh, the work is complete, satisfied to Joe and Bill's uh, approval. Uh, they've all for, also furnished the two year maintenance bond and we're recommending the final payment. Do I have a motion? Not making a motion. So, all those in favor, say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Pass this 5 0. 151 2020. Consider rejecting the 724 20 bids for the Anger Road Slope Stabilization and authorize the township engineer to rebid the project to include a soldier beam and lagging wall and a full closure of Anger Road during construction. So, at the, at the last uh, meeting, the board decided to table these bids. Uh, and there was, I was asked to go back and look at the alternative of the possibility of putting a pipe in in lieu of the wall. Uh, let me just take a step back. The bids that came in on the wall, the lowest bidder was rejected because he didn't finish the paperwork. Uh, we had some options in the bid, full lane closure versus partial lane closure. So we went back, talked to the bidders. Uh, the bidders said that they would rebid the project and we were gonna give them the scope of just closing the road to get the work done. They thought that would be the best and that's the cheapest way to go. So we did confirm that, that the lower bidders, and one of them is actually a township contractor 
who wasn't able to bid the project before is able to bid it now if he didn't have bonding, enough bonding capacity at that point in time. So he actually called me today and asked me if this was going to be prepaid. So uh, that's where we started. And then in addition to that, I did take a look uh, at uh, what it would take to put uh, to put a pipe in over there. And uh, so this this is the buoyant property that, that runs along Anchor Road. Uh, the stream comes down through the site approximately at this location. Our wall was going to be right along the edge of the road, right through here. So as an option, <coughs> we could pipe, put 100 feet of pipe in, be able to get a permit from the DEP for that. That's the maximum size pipe that they would permit in the stream of this size and acreage. Uh, if we did this, we then have to put the pipe in, place some fill in here, it would decrease the cost. We did run some numbers by uh, Stewart contracting in terms of numbers. It could substantially reduce the cost for the project by as much as $100,000 if you go by Stewart's numbers uh, from what the cost of the wall would be. So this is a viable option. It would take some, it would take some time at least to get an easement off for Mr. Boyan, uh, make sure we're okay with that, and then we would need to the DEP is okay on an emergency permit to put this in so we could kind of do it all right away. Uh, it, it might be advantageous since we have this done already to put both of them out and see what the better option of cost would be if we were going to remit it anyhow. Uh, so I, I just bring this to the board's attention. Uh, I know everybody has a different opinion related to walls, pipes, whatever we do here. If, if this road continues to fail a little bit further down, it would be faced to put a wall in as it goes further down toward the south point. Uh, answer any questions? How long do you think Anger Road property goes for? Uh, either, either option is probably at least three weeks. I want to say four just to be sure. I think that's the close Anger also. <coughs> they wouldn't necessarily because they'd be able to stage it a little bit differently. It depends how much they need to stage to get they could get their material down into the creek. And there'd be some more they, they might be able to do partial closure uh, with a pipe. Uh, I, I really haven't thought that out yet, but uh, in any event there'd be some closure to the road. Probably less with a pipe option for sure. But the work work ready that you could put them both out for good or get them off? So we could, yes. As long as you have any of the pipe. The pipe would last a long time. You just might have some maintenance if the tree goes in the end or something. Go well, work to clean it up. The, the, thanks, Eric. That, that is a good point. So, so anytime that you pipe the stream, uh, there is the propensity for pipe to get clogged. This would have to be a reinforced concrete pipe. So. Best type of pipe we need to put in. That's a 50 year plus pipe. And it'd be a 60 inch, 50, 60 inch reinforced concrete pipe. You have to have a head wall and an end wall. And then there's the potential the public works would have to come down and unplug this thing from time to time as debris would come down and run into this, you know, it, it's, it's upper, upper limit. So, yes, there, there would be maintenance on this that there wouldn't be on a wall. At least from a perspective that public works would have to go in from time to time and uh, you know you do have to monitor these things. If it comes your yours to maintain it's 40 feet off of the road, we have to get an access down here to make that happen. But, uh, people do it all the time, there's pipes everywhere. So I hate to put you on the spot, but are you saying this is better than a wall just because it's less costly? It's less costly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't quantify it as better. If, if the property owner had 